All right, how you guys doing? This is Sir MacBook Pro bringing you another video. Um, this one, the one of choices that I have been actually meaning to do for you for a while is the City of Workaround. Uh, this is one that I stumbled upon. Just going ahead and trying to, you know, manipulate the game files and stuff like that didn't work out well for me. So I actually found a way to manipulate the time in the game to allow the you to get money. So here I'll show you that I'm running version 5.0.1. Um, and then I'm actually going to open up Crime City for you to let you know or show you that I'm running the latest version of Crime City. As of today, it's 2.2. Um, I haven't heard of any reason that they would do an update anytime soon, but here I'll show you that I'm running version 2.2. So if you have this version, this should work just fine for you. I'm not trying to say that this will work for any past version of Crime City. So what you're going to need to do now is actually go into Cydia and download two applications, Backgrounder and Activator. You'll need both of these in order to get the workaround to work. I'm not going to show you in this video how to do it, but if you want to take some time to do some research, you can pause the video now, have that done, and then get those downloaded and ready to go. <coughs> Excuse me. So after you're done getting those um, all together, we're actually going to open up Activator and we're going to program the volume buttons to open up Backgrounder. So we're going to click from anywhere and we're going to go ahead and scroll down to the area where it says volume buttons. This is my personal preference. You can choose whatever button combination you want. Try to do hardware buttons. Um, don't try to do any gesture swipes or anything. So I hit both buttons and then I actually already have Backgrounder selected. For you, you'll probably have to scroll down here and then select Backgrounder as the application you want to be opened when you press the two buttons. So I'll go back in here to Crime City and what we're going to be doing now is uh, activating the Backgrounder. So in order to activate the Backgrounder, we're going to get here to our game and we're going to be hitting both volume buttons at the same time. And you'll know if it works if it just comes out of the game and goes straight to your home screen, which you just did there. So now what we're going to be doing is manipulating the time to allow us to make the money faster. So we're going to go into our general settings, and then we're going to go into date and time. <laughs> so I had already taken time to do this because... I had to do a couple of takes just because I couldn't get everything just how I wanted it. So my time is already a bit off. Um, but what you'll need to do is go here and turn off automatic time. And then just adjust the days, you know, a couple of days at a time. And only do a couple of days at a time because the iPhone only has so many years. I think it's 20, 38 or something like that. I don't know. But if you do it two days at a time, you'll get more money instead of jumping a year and a year and a year. So you'll understand why that makes sense later. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into Crime City. And now that we've manipulated our time and put it into hyperspeed, you can see that all my money has regenerated again. So <clears throat> basically what we would do is we would collect all the money and go back, skip the time ahead again, go back, collect money, skip the time ahead again, go back and collect money, put it in the bank. I mean, it's a simple process. So that's what you would do. Um, you don't have to do backgrounder every time. Um, the only time that you hit the two volume buttons again is when you want to disable it. So keep that in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my bank and deposit the money that I collected. I mean, 258000 a day is pretty good. I mean, it's pretty easy to, to start making money. So even in this uh, work over here, I can show you that I can still move within the game to different levels and stuff like that and still complete jobs. That was one thing that annoyed me about all the other supposed, supposedly hacked or cheat versions of this won't allow you to move through the game. It will give you a server error, etc, etc. So I'll go ahead and close out of the game here and uh, we can actually, excuse me, I'm going to show you um, what happens when you adjust the time back. So in order to jump out of it that time, I actually just hit the volume buttons and disabled the activator. So I'm going to go back to the date and time, and I'm going to hit the back button here. And we're going to set it back to automatic, which is pretty much going to configure it to the date and time as of right now. So we'll do that. We'll go back into Crime City. 
And then this is <clears throat> where it's going to look a little bit goofy. And I need you guys to bear with me and understand what I'm trying to explain to you here. Um, so Crime City is going to take its time to open. It always takes its sweet time connecting the server. So I'll give it a little bit of time here. Okay, so what you're going to notice here is that all of your buildings are in either building or upgrade or construction or upgrade um, status. And they're actually going to be to the date of the last time you did the, the time, hyper time, basically. So mine is right at 311 hours, which is, you know, a, however many times it is from today. I think I went all the way to April, uh, something like that. So that way, basically what I have to do is either wait until that day. And then all this stuff will be as normal or the way that I did it is I went years ahead. You know, I did this years at a time and I got a lot of money and I deleted my bu my buildings, as you can see here, what I'm doing. And then you can build another one right on top of it and it won't have the issue of the upgrades things. So basically the, the idea is to bank a lot of money, you know, harvest a bunch of money, get at least 10 million. If you want to do more, great, do more delete all your buildings or sell all your buildings, you'll still make some money off of them and then rebuild them, okay? So my strategy for making the most money is that started off with a few buildings, collected, built some more buildings, collected, upgraded, collected, keep building more, collected, upgraded, collect, to the point where you're maybe making about $150,000 every time you collect. So it kind of increases the, the amount of money you're making, making it faster. Uh, another thing that you can do is you can upgrade and expand your hood and basically it does it instantly for you so you can take your 200,000 or 500,000 and hit expand do the time warp and when you come back it'll say to finish now do zero gold and you can do that and it'll expand it for you instantly uh, if you want to upgrade buildings during this type of workaround you can only upgrade to building two so if you want to go ahead and do that to try to make more money you can but just keep in mind that after upgrade level two, it won't let you go to three. So it's not anything that I figured out a way to get around, but I mean, as of now, it really hasn't been a big problem at all. Um, and you can upgrade your defense towers and all that stuff too. So, I mean, try it out, see if you like it. I mean, this is something that worked well for me. I did all this stuff and deleted my buildings and started over fresh two weeks ago. And I was making, you know, 250,000 a day and I still had three mil in the bank. So this is working out well for me. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to post below. Other than that, this is Sir MacBook Pro signing off. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy your day.